Hi everyone, this is James, this is Eurovision Island, and this is the return of Review in 2. You know the drill by now, all the songs heading to the Eurovision Song Contest 2022 in Turin in just two minutes or less, because we know your time is very precious to you. Please take a moment to make sure you're subscribed to our channel so you don't miss any future videos, and if you'd like to leave a like or a comment down below, then please do so. So, without any further ado, andiamo a Torino! Today we're going to take a look at North Macedonia, Andrea and Circles. Now I must admit I have a real soft spot for North Macedonia, it's a beautiful country, I've been there many times, really love it there and have lots of happy memories, including the first time I worked for Eurovision Ireland at Skopje Fest in 2014, so as I said, there's sort of real history between me and North Macedonia. And I love music from that part of the world anyway, and I always look forward to seeing what they're going to put on the Eurovision stage. Now listening to Circles for the first time, I put in headphones, I was sat in the living room, there was a lot going on, and I was just immediately drawn in by the power of Andrea's voice. Now, I think that's really special if you can focus in on the singer's voice, you know, with everything else going on and you're just sort of captivated in that moment, that's really special. And I think, wow, you know, I can't wait to see this on the Eurovision stage. Andrea performs with such intensity and such emotion that it's just a joy to listen to. The song feels very grown up for North Macedonia. It's about falling out of love, you know, seeing a relationship fail around you and not being sure how to end it. You know, that's something a lot of people can relate to. Now, one tiny, tiny thing that sort of frustrated me, I'll say, is the lyrics. Now, there's nothing wrong with the story of the song, it's just the fact that it's verse, chorus, and then it's the same verse and the same chorus. It felt a little bit repetitive. And where Andrea is such an incredible performer, I wanted her to have more of a story to tell, and I think she would have done so brilliantly. The thing is, though, if you're a non-native speaker of English, having that sort of very simple verse, chorus, verse, chorus format, it's easy to hook into the meaning of the song if you haven't already with her performance. So I can see why that's been done, but at the same time I was like, oh, this is so good, I just wanted more. Now, looking ahead to Turin, North Macedonia and staging at Eurovision, <laughs> sometimes it doesn't work out as well as I think they want it to. Now, we saw in Tel Aviv with Proud that, you know, they are capable of staging a beautiful Eurovision entry. I'd even argue that Vasil in Rotterdam did a great job. I feel like staging is going to be vital here. It's a very modern song, but I think to sell that intensity, they need a lot of close-up camera work of Andrea, let her emote, let her connect to the audience at home, and I think we could see North Macedonia back in the final. <laughs> so, that was my review in two. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned on this playlist for the next episode in the next country, or why not check out some of the other features on our YouTube channel, including our panel review shows, interviews, and of course our Best of Eurovision series. Alternatively, head on over to EurovisionIslands.net for all our coverage of the national selection season 2022, including interviews, news, polls, and of course our live blogs. Okay, that's all for now. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you, Europe, and good night.